Mic check, one, two, one, two. At T.O. the Designer, back at it again with another Anthem Custom Javelin. This time we're going to be doing this creamsicle-looking orange and white Interceptor in Bioware's new release, Anthem. All right, without any further ado, let's jump right into it. All right, let's get a clear canvas going and see if we have any decals we can work off. So uh, I'm not going to lie, I saw this uh, orange vanguard decal with the skull and I just had to build my entire interceptor around it so that's gonna give me a nice little skull over the forehead right in between the eyes and a cool like uh, imperial looking right shoulder patch so we're gonna go with a nice orange I always wanted to do a real orange uh, build so not quite sure let's start with the clean metallic uh, make our colors pop while we're editing and uh, we'll come back to our wear state and such later. Uh, I'm going to be building off of the legendary arms. I think we'll go legendary this time. Uh, torso. We're going to go with the Legion of Dawn torso, the legendary torso. Uh, yeah, that's about what we got right now. That gives it a cool upper body build. Uh, for the legs. Stick with Legion of Dawn legs. Got a nice solid build here. And uh, starting with our all white canvas, start accenting that orange. So for my secondary soft, I got some cool custom colors. Maybe go with like an orange and purple. But uh, for right now, I'll go with that little bit of that lighter orange. Let's see. Legion of Dawn metal, I think, for the win. All right, and next we're gonna go with our tertiary soft. I think I might actually rock with some Dominion Hex. That's gonna highlight right over the ab region. So the legendary Legion of Dawn torso kind of has this web going on. I'll go with kind of like a copper that actually looks kind of sick with the charcoal. But, uh, you're not going to introduce too many different colors. I want to go with a very specific, like, rust colored orange. Work well with that shading. Um, no, not blue. Hang on. I'll leave it as, like, a sand color for now. And, uh, I'll work for my secondary hard. Here, it looks like it's going to give that little area above the kneecaps. I'm actually looking real specifically at that chest piece underneath. So this one will take some matching. Oh, that looks good, but it's a little bit too red. That's actually a nice red. I'll have to make a separate build with that. But uh, clashes a little too much with the orange decal up top. So, all right. Um, that's a pretty solid looking orange right there I'm not gonna lie it looks like a human muscular system that's fresh all right tertiary hard uh, do we want to go with the wrinkled dominion hex tertiary hard let's see uh, it's gonna do those elbow pads so oh that's kind of sick yeah, with the charcoal maybe a light gray wouldn't look too bad Ooh, uh, I actually like that in white all right looking pretty fresh so far I'm still thinking that we want to do something with this abdomen region yeah actually I thought it would be a little too orange in the beginning but now that I got some accents going on got the white stripes through uh, trying to figure out between like a copper burgundy color. That's all right. Nah, actually, I'm leaning back towards the orange tones. All right, primary soft, primary hard. Let's see. Ooh, that changes everything. Do I want to go with a charcoal gray and orange build and just scrap the white at this point? 
That's ugly. Oh, man. I can never seem to get the blacks as black as I want them. Uh, drop something in the comments below if you know a really sick all-black build. I'd love to make a black and lime green, but that's another video for another day. Uh... That looks pretty sick with the Dominion Hex. It reminds me of like a, like a Queen Bee or something. But I'm actually going to go a little less crimson-y. Dominion Hex lets you play with multiple colors, so it's pretty cool. Definitely think I want to base with that cream coat. And then maybe I'll add another layer of uh, maybe some orange or some white. Oh, that, look at that with the, legend, with the Legion of Dawn. Oh, it's like a rose gold. Yeah. Alright. Might have to get rid of that gray. Let's see. If I could match that with the rose gold, this might be a build and we could call it a day. Hmm. That's got like a little bit of gray, like a sand with some, uh, yeah, that plays off nice off the rose gold metal. Uh, maybe instead of leather, we'll try to, uh, the metal, the Legion of Dawn metal doesn't quite do it. And then I lose that red inside the chest, so I think I want to stick with something painted. Yeah, it really needs that orange to bounce off the forehead. Oh, look at the eyes glowing through. The eyes look all glowy and waspy. That looks sick. I think I'm going to call it real soon. This is a nice, solid-looking build. And it works off the decal and the orange off the head and off the right shoulder pad really well. Oh. That looks pretty sick, like an aged copper. Comment down below if you like that aged copper. Uh, it's not the way I finished up, but that might be its own its own build. Might have to link to this timestamp, but for right now I'm gonna go with the uh, the painted white. We're gonna finish this clean look. It's a little too weird when we start throwing the darker colors in. That fabric. So I'm on the white color, but a lot of these textures have like a real gray with it. I think I like the engineer painted. Yep. All right. Let's take this thing for a spin. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Click on the big T.O. in the center to subscribe if you haven't already. And make sure if you enjoy these Anthem customization videos to check out these other videos here.